I'm here in South East London at the heart of the Matter exhibition. This is an exhibition where artists have collaborated with scientists as well as sufferers of heart conditions to create art based on the complexities of the human heart. So Sophie, um, take me through the process of what it's like to go from having a group conversation to formulating ideas and resulting in having, I guess, an art piece or different art pieces. How, how, how does that happen? So you start with a workshop process and that workshop process may happen at the bedside in a hospital or it might happen with a group of people. And I take people on a journey and the journey is an exploration about what the heart means to people and, but also exploring both their medical and their metaphorical heart. And I know you've made statements before about incorporating people's stories into the art. Um, can you give me any examples of where you've actually incorporated someone's story into the art you've produced? One of the ones that really stands out is a young man. I said to him, if I was going to make your heart for you, what would your heart look like? And he said, well, my heart's really complicated. It's this patchwork, it's like a puzzle, it's a Rubik's Cube that can't quite be put back together again. You know, working so closely with scientists, um, has that changed the way that you, even yourself, now views art? It's very like oriented to the precision and detail. It's all really fine lines. It kind of changed the way, it shifted the way I work, not really changed, but shifted the way I work. And also I think that had an impact on the way we told the story. It was more loose and it had to do with the heart and it had to be quite, you know, closed and very intimate. So yeah, definitely kind of got an inspiration that I will definitely carry through in next projects I'm working on. Giovanni, we've got like all these amazing models here right in front of us. Um, tell me a little bit about them, first of all. For me personally, it's the idea of what we call patient-centered medicine and the individuality that came through all these conversations and workshops and meeting the patients, but also meeting artists and nurses and clinicians. So everybody went through the same process. We have to be reminded as people that were, as you know, researchers or clinicians, I'm not a clinician myself, but you know, working in healthcare, how the individual is also a story and their own story. So, yes. <laughs>